How many people would like a lot more money in their life? How many people would like to be financially free? Money is really something that does free us up. It gives us options. That's really the reason that people want money. It's because you can do different things. It makes you more of who you are. It allows you to not necessarily do something you don't want to do, but it also allows you to help other people. It allows you to create. And so I think that, you know, for myself, I set out on a kind of goal, and that goal was to be financially free. And that was several years ago. It really was about 20 years ago. Um, now, you may ask, why am I an expert on that? Well, I did basically do that, become financially free, meaning I don't have to go to work if I don't choose to, but of course I do work some, but not out of, of the fact that I have to. And that really is what financial freedom is about. So today I was going to talk to you a little bit about how to do that for yourself. It sounds like you obviously you all want more money, you want to be financially free, and maybe you need to know how do you go about doing, doing that. Uh, the first thing really is, is making a decision. You know, if you want something in life, you really just have to decide, I want this. And people say, when, do you, when did you become a millionaire? When did you reach this goal? You really reach that goal the day you make the decision. Because you may be, you know, working, you may be a very poor person. Once you've made that decision, I'm going to be financially free, everything else will follow from that decision. And the decision really means that you don't have any other option. That your options are cut off, you made a decision, and you're going to go for it 100. percent I find that people that you that, uh, becoming financially free is really about setting goals, and I like to look at it on a monthly basis. And the monthly basis is look at your profit and loss. How much money do you bring in every month? How much money do you have going out? You have to look at that. You have to become financially uh, financially literate so you can tell how much money is coming in, how much money is going out, and when you do is you focus on obviously increasing the money coming in and decreasing the money going out. And so there's two really ways to do that. And so my philosophy basically is focus on making more money. Some people think that you can save yourself the financial freedom. It's really kind of a painful way to go. It's a way of deprivation. It's really about make more money because if you make more money, then you will be in a position that you can maybe just spend what you used to spend. And that's what I did. I, I, I was making, you know, a good living as a realtor and, and a real estate investor, but I decided, you know, I'm making a good living, but I think I can double my income. So I did that. It took me about two years, and I doubled my income, but I left my expenses exactly where they were. And so that extra money then becomes discretionary money. And that's really the key to becoming financially free, you have to create what's called discretionary income. And that's income that does not go for your bills. If all your money goes for your bills, you're not going to have that extra money. You have to have extra money that you can invest. Because becoming financially free is a two-pronged um, event. The first one is increasing your income. The second one is taking the extra money, the discretionary income, and investing that money to grow it. So you have to have two really sources of income, your, your, what you're doing to, for work or your business, and then you have to have your investment growing. Um, and your, what you're really, your goal is to be financially free is you want to create passive income. And passive income is money that you make while you're sleeping, meaning that you don't have to go to work to create that passive income. Basically what you do is you, uh, you have investments, either you work or your money works. And so when your money is working, you're not necessarily, you don't have to be working. You can be in the Bahamas, you can be doing whatever you want because you have a stream of income. Um, in my case, I invest in rental properties and that's, that creates a passive stream of income. But a lot of people invest in a lot of different things to create that passive stream of income. It's money that you don't necessarily have to get up in the morning and go, okay, I'm gonna do something. It's gonna just keep coming in. And that allows you to quit your day job and do whatever you, you know, do whatever you want. I think that, you know, I've gone to a lot of seminars and a lot of people have gone to a lot of training about how do you get the right mindset. And it really is about attitude and it's about mindset. If you have the right attitude, if you say money is important to me, um, because that's the first step. You have to decide that it's important. People in life have what they think is important. Like if you think having a motorcycle is important or 
having a boat is important or having a, you know, a spouse is important. You're going to have that. You'll see people do whatever it takes to do that. But a lot of people think money is just something that it's not that important. But it really is. If you've ever tried to live without it, it's pretty, it's pretty important. Um, so you have to make that decision. You have to have a plan of action. You have to decide what it is you're going to do. You have to create what's called a wealth vehicle. And a wealth vehicle is what is it that's going to get you rich? Is, is it going to be you're selling a multi-level marketing product? Is it going to be that you're you know, selling something else or you have a business? And so you want to create this wealth vehicle and then you want to become a master of that vehicle. The people that have become successful in life are masters at what they do. And masters mean that you know better than the, you know 98% of the other people in that industry how to do that job. And you have to have passion. You have to love what you do. If you love what you do and you're passionate about it and you're excited about it, you can fall in love with your future and say, hey, this is my future. I see it. I see the one. I see what that's going to be. And that really shows you the path. So you want to create that clear vision, and it's that vision that will lead you to where you want to go, plus the excitement and the passion that will drive you. And you have to create what I would call an obsession. If you, if you have this obsession, then you will create a future. So to kind of wrap it up, basically, I want to sell you on you. I want you to be excited about your life, excited about making money, excited about what you're doing, and go out there and create a life by design, not to fall. Thank you.